Nein. Melli, ui. Today we will cycle through this, huh? Cycling in a skate park. So, 80 kilos. Let's see. I'm gonna break it, huh? Oops. <laughs> we just reached Udine. Today there is a special day. Today we will be accompanied by Simone. He will cycle with us. And his friend. We will cycle towards Gerardo together. Yesterday everything happened at once, so it was raining and we met Simone like three days ago, somewhere on the path and he was super, super keen on what we are doing, so he told us if we maybe reach his place we should take him. So we didn't know if we are gonna reach it, but then we found out, oh yeah, we are like crossing his home. So we told him we were gonna come and he said okay you're welcome there is a different house you can have for yourself because the owners are not there we have a house a whole house for ourselves true italian house it's empty nobody here just for us there are So yesterday they were inviting us for food and lots of wine, so I didn't feel well this morning, but the breakfast fixed my condition, so we will cycle towards Grado now. Yellow is Paolo, blue is Simone, and in front is Melli. We are cycling 18 km per hour, really relaxed. Always towards Gerardo. This is Palma Nova. This is a so-called star city. On the right, maybe you can see it. There, yes, on the right there is a map of the city and it's built like a star. It's the center of the star. Palma Nova. This is an, an UNESCO town. Okay. It's a star. Yeah. With uh, 12... Uh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Angle. 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 Yes. Echt schöne Gebäude hier. Quite beautiful. Really schön. Ah, I can see it. Yeah, there is it. The sea. Amazing. We reached the sea. Best pizza in Italy. 
Bye bye. bye. Da gehen sie hin. Wir wurden gerade vom Fernsehen gefilmt. The TV just da war ein Mann, der filmed us. Der einen Film macht über gerade oder so. Wir haben uns jetzt gefilmt, dem haben wir eine Karte gegeben. Schauen wir mal, vielleicht taucht das irgendwann mal irgendwo auf. Richtig lustig. Aber hier ist es schön. Komm, oh, I love Grado. So nice. Es riecht nach Feels Zeit like holidays. You smell the ocean. The people are so friendly. Dieser warme Pinienduft, das ist für mich irgendwie immer wie Urlaub. So, ich bin auf der Suche nach einem Spot heute Nacht. So, we will search for a camping spot. Oh, actually, it's quite nice here, but there is not enough water. So, hmm. It took quite a while to find a spot for camping. Unfortunately, a lot of stuff is private here, and the, all the other land is protected. But this spot is really cool. There is no drinking water here, but it's not far away. We can get it. Good morning. Today we will cycle towards Monfalcone and get my new sleeping mat, as my current one is broken. And maybe we will reach Slovenia. Finally we reach the sea. Ah, oh, flat tire. Number three. Number three. In Italy. Italian. Near Monfalcone. But we got lucky. There is water over there and there is shed shadow. No, and for some reason only Melanie is getting the flat tires. Let's see if we can find something. Oof. A lot of a lot of pointy stuff inside. There's the first hole. We found it. We fixed it. We also checked the tension of the Chain. So it's fine. We can continue. Put some oil and go. Finally, my new mattress. Look, over there. Time for a banana break. Somewhere over there we were starting today. And even more far back there is Austria. Third time we reached the sea. Cycling towards Trieste. Following the coastline. Before we went on a rocky way, it would be Alpe Adria. But it's not following the coastline, and we are not keen on cycling on rocks. It's super nice to follow the coastline. Just had a shower, amazing! Heute 
sind wir ganz schön verwegen. Today we're doing something that is quite illegal. So, as you seen, we did a lot today, get a new mattress and stuff, and we also thought about sending a package, but it cost 1 kilo 40 euro, so it's crazy. So, as you maybe know, we are from Bavaria. It's the first time that we are drinking white beer from the can. And usually Bavarians don't do this. This is a no-go. But anyway, we will try for the first time today. Yeah, it's uh, really no-go. But as the beer is 2 euro and 70 cents in the supermarket for a can, hmm, yeah, let's see. So there was a special <laughs> offer of this beer and that's why we choose it. Do you like it? It tastes okay. To make one thing clear, yeast increase your farting. Es wird benutzt auch im Kuchen, um Blähungen von den Bakterien zu machen. Und genau. Ja, ne? Klar. Oh, it's so hot. 30 degrees in shadow. 30 Grad im Schatten. Almost in Slovenia. I think two kilometers more to go. Over there is Slovenia. Let's put a sticker here. Ta -da. Super Mini Offroad. Cooler. We always ask ourselves, why is it possible in those countries to build a proper cycling path? I didn't expect it, it's amazing, but in Germany it's not like this, not at all. When you cycle from one street to another, it's like a smooth connection. There are no potholes, it's amazing. It's like a proper cycling path and the cars have just one lane. And I don't get it why it's in Germany where they have money for building stuff like this, they never do it. But here it's standard. As you can see, it's got a proper way for pedestrians as well. We are following the coastline. In 15 kilometers, we will reach the border. To Croatia. We don't know if we can cross the border or not. Will be a surprise for us. But right now we are enjoying just the feeling being on the sea. I just jumped into the water and there was a guy who told me that the, the shower is working again. Uh, this is the first day, so um, yeah. So I went into the water, came out, and there was no water in the shower. So yeah, well, then I took my bottle, refilled it, and cleaned myself because cycling salty is not comfortable at all. So now we have a really cool idea how to get our parcel back to Germany. So we just met two Germans, they have traveled a lot in the world and yeah, they are over there on this camping spot and we left our stuff with them so as they are going back to Germany they can take it and send it back. We gave them 7 euro for the shipping cost, thank you guys. And Eric told us that's the most expensive campground they found. It's 60 euro for a night, it's insane, you can go to a hotel. I think that's it. We almost reached the border. You like our work? Become a patron and get your hands on exclusive patron-only content. 
Ciao und patreon.com slash